Hello. This time we decided to rebuild this old transporter. This now this transporter has this very small shaft. Here as well that belt slides and spins. So because every time this transporter has moved here it stuck corn or something else between and jam entire belt so we decide to make a full length shaft and full length belt and then we, we put something on the top to grab wood or corn and move it it will be much more easier so we'll have to cut this, all these metal parts away so the shaft will fit in now I have to rebuild this shaft I already polished these welds I will uh, remove this uh, pipe from this I will wipe this here and here with that pipe over there I have to polish this disc to the inner diameter of this pipe so I can sl slide it and weld it so it will not be so small it will be very wide almost the entire belt will cover so here is that old belt you can see not have much of the space and here between there are free space so every time the corn gets stuck it pushes this up and jam all transporter so that's why we will make as these blades are fully length of this so we will remove these metal plates you can see and we will put them on the new belt three times wide as this so this is the also old belt but I will cut it in half so I will have uh, one uh, spare and one we will use it good amount very cheap price and it will last very long so first I need to fix that, those shafts on both ends and then I will cut to the middle here of this belt and then we will put those metal parts here on this belt There you go, I have taken apart this pipe and this is the shaft and this is this metal disc so I need to take this edge a little bit off so it will fit into this pipe and then I will cut it to the length of that measurement of the belt right and I will put it here so it will not be short as this but it will be almost twice as this the size so and these pipes I will not throw all them away I will already use them for to make a too big a press it will be quite good length and all that is left is to put two pistons in there and the top but the most important is to make the cut of this pipe so I ask my friend to cut that metal round plate to the diameter the inner diameter of this pipe and then 
alle gut lang unter die Schacht. So, here is the metal discs, the edges taken away to the size here that will fit into the pipe. And as you can see, it fits perfectly here. And it has to be centered almost perfectly so it will not make this or it will uh, stay left and right. It has to be centered perfectly so the belt will continuously turn without problem. So now I'm gonna put it all together, cut this pipe, put it on the shaft. I have to weld these two metal plates on the shaft and this one has bearings. This is not so problem, but I have to center this on the shaft. So I'll do just right now cut this pipe to the length and put it in this. So the shaft is completely finished. All that is left is the weld. You can see pipe fits perfectly in that metal round plate. We put small welding spots here to hold it in place and in the center. So now we can put a bigger belt on that transporter. So what is left is to weld around this shaft and make spot welds here all around on both sides and after that we will mount it on the transporter and we will do the same with the top one of this so quite good job and it will work so here is another shot for this transporter all the bearings on the top are finished so I buy a new one it will turn smoothly so I have to put it in this housing like this and it will go side on the both sides I have to do it the same And then this will show you be completely. And then we finish it all these shafts with pipes. Then we have to cut the belt straight to the middle. And the transporter will be finished. We can start using it. Well, the corn season is now ready. And we still haven't finished it, our transporter but we will manage to do it in time so I'll put it this complete finish it and the pipe is very strong you can see it will hold many years so let's put it together There you go, the shaft is on the place with my homemade cooler. You can see it is. You can see it doesn't move left and right, it is very in the center. That's perfect. The whole white, you can see. So let me show you that old piece. The old piece was here. In the middle, you can see. Now, here between, always corn stuck here. So the belt and transporter stopped. Now, you can see we increase the full length of two of these. Now it is covered from side to side 
so the corn cannot stuck here anymore. And it does work. And here is the front one. Also center. And here is how we made the bearing is on the inside. Small sport welds. It holds on the place. And this is the for uh, adjusting the tension of the belt. So half job done. Now we have to cut the belt to the size with this pipe. Put it together, make some blades on that build. Yeah. Transporter is ready. So there you go my friends, we have cut this big size belt in half. And to cut it the full length or 10 meters we use this for cutting the metal in it goes pretty smoothly and it is very straight you can see we measure the full length and separate these pieces so we will attach these blades to the belt all around in the full length of this now this is the original belt that was on this transporter and you can see it is almost three times the size of this this is not good and this is better and this one I will have a spare with this one damages I will simply use this one what is left now is to want these blades and this belt and these lines around put it on this transporter tighten the belt and the transporter is ready so we will now put this, the blades on the belt There you go. the blades are mounted on the belt. You see how it looks. Ah, what is left is to put it all around on the top and join here where the hole is together. And everything is mounted. This speed adjusting this gearbox. You can adjust the speed. This transporter slow, very fast. Motor, belt, everything is complete. Connect it. This lower faster speed.
Берлин. ready we transport the core into our storage boxes and the previous one has this small belt so all the corn stuck between the blades and the transporter frame so this time the corn cannot go in underneath of these blades they will just keep pushing the core that is it for now. We built the old transporter with the bigger belt and it works. Hope you like this setup. Now this is this is very perfect. I use it for my grape meal. It is very good because you can reduce the speed that you need. And I can use it anywhere, here, on any other machine that I need. So, this is it for now. Now we have to harvest the corn, then I will show you how it works and it transports the corn. So, greetings from Croatia and thanks for watching this video. Bye.